Uh, uh, so I got this part from a customer of mine who wanted me to print it for him and uh, I had to print uh, three versions so this is black ABS and uh, this was the first part I printed I printed it in, uh, in a printer without a heated chamber and as you can see uh, it's just cracked and uh, the reason is uh, ABS retracts when it cools down, so it creates a little bit of uh, stress inside the part, and well, layers get detached. So this was a no go. Then I printed this other part. Um, check this part uh, inside the heated build chamber. Printed at uh, 40 degrees Celsius inside, and um, these two layers got detached. So even at 40C inside, the layer may get detached. And the uh, rest of the part looks okay. So this is a part for a power supply for a DIY 3D printer. And lastly, I printed this part at uh, 65 degrees Celsius inside the heated build chamber. And uh, it turned out pretty good. So there's no crack, no nothing. And uh, the truth is, uh, the, main, the layers, uh, the, it may not be visible, but if you break, if you try to break it, it, it might break in a in a print in, the, in a, in a parts printed in a uh, open area. But uh, the the parts that you get from heated build chamber. They're just uh, strong, and uh, so this is black ABS. Uh, you could go away with this if you print with PLA. Uh, even though I can show you uh, some videos, uh, I printed a big part radius of 12, uh, 12 inches, um, basically a cylinder with radius of twelve inches, and uh, it also cracked. And that was uh, PLA. I printed it inside the heated chamber, and it turned out fine. So that's all. Uh, last thing, if you want to print small parts like this, uh, sure. You like, yeah. You don't get a problem with uh, with a normal 3D printer. It's a problem shows up when you go to the larger pieces. Thank you.